Hello, and welcome back to Battle Plan, a podcast focused on spiritual warfare. I'm Steve Hemphill. Website is active-faith.org, and my email is stevehemphill1 at me.com. In our last episode, we talked about uh, uh, prayers to start each new day, things to pray for. Today, we're covering a house with a history of divorce. John 4, 16 to 19, is Jesus' interaction with the woman at the well. In the NLT version, he says, go and get your husband, Jesus told her. I don't have a husband, woman replied. Jesus said, you're right. You don't have a husband, or you've had five husbands, and you aren't even married to the man you're living with now. You certainly spoke the truth. Sir, the woman said, you must be a prophet. Malachi 2, verse 16 says, for I hate divorce, says the Lord, the God of Israel. To divorce your wife is to overwhelm her with cruelty, says the Lord of heaven's armies. So guard your heart. Do not be unfaithful to your wife. So God hates divorce. Divorce brings cruelty, and we must guard our heart against it and remain faithful. I got a phone call one day from a uh, very conservative church leader in North Arkansas, and he said, Steve, I have a weird question for you. We uh, enjoyed when you came and gave your seminar on heaven, and I knew you were studying on spiritual warfare and writing a book on that, and I've got a strange question. My daughter just bought the house next door, Now we live just on the outskirts of town. There are two-acre lots here. It's a real pretty area. We're so excited to have our daughter living next door since I'm getting older and have some health issues now. However, the last three families who lived in that house got a divorce. How do I clean up the property before my daughter moves into it so the same thing doesn't happen to her? Now, I'd never um, had that question posed to me before, and this was shortly after this idea with the stakes and the verses on them came into being. So I kind of told him the whole story of what had been going on. And, and uh, when I finished, he said, oh, I love that idea. He said, send me three sets of stakes and I'll mail you a check. So I did. And a few weeks later, uh, I got a phone call from him. And he said, uh, Steve, I want to tell you what happened. He said, we got your stakes in on a Saturday, which was perfect because my daughter and her family were moving in the next day on Sunday. And um, I took the first set of stakes and put around my house. Now, he said, I'm all prayed up and I don't have any problems, but um, I just was kind of being safe. And then I took the next set of stakes and put on the four corners of the property around my daughter's home next door. And I said, well, what do you do with the third set? He said, well, I, I put them around the four corners of her house. And I said, OK, so you put two sets of stakes around the same house. He said, that's right. He said, you know, there's more than one level of defense there. Uh, I love my daughter. And I said, okay, I get that. And he said, we went to bed about 10 o'clock that night. And we're glad to get that done um, right as they you know, were moving in. And about midnight, I woke up and it sounded like an NFL football player was running on the roof back and forth. Boom, 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 boom back and forth. It was a terrible noise. I grabbed and, and got my shotgun. I threw some jeans on. I ran outside with my spotlight, went all the way around the house. There was nothing up there. I was really puzzled by this. And I looked around the house, didn't see anybody, went back inside. As soon as I set foot back in the door, it started up again. Bah, 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 bah. And I knew what it was then. It was demonic. He said, I hit my knees and I prayed, Steve. I prayed for four hours. It went on for four and a half hours. He said three times it got so loud. I went back outside and looked again with my spotlight, had my shotgun. There was nothing you could see with human eyes. It, it ran on the roof. It beat on the walls. Sometimes the, the window shook. You could hear it scratching on the vent pipes that went up through the roof. He said, I, I prayed until about 4.30 a.m., and finally it stopped, and I went to bed exhausted, and I waited two weeks to call you to make sure it took, but he said, I guess whatever it was uh, that was that was in my daughter's new house had to leave there, and it was mad at me for making him move, so I'm really glad I staked out my own house. Now, there's a, there's a principle here I want to just point out to you. If you hadn't already seen it, it's pretty obvious. 
if you're going to get involved in spiritual warfare, don't just help protect the people you love, protect yourself too. Even if you're all prayed up, even if you don't think you have any problems that need to be specifically addressed, God's word is powerful and it can protect you. And it can also protect you when you stir up the enemy as you're trying to protect your children and grandchildren and the other people you love. So in light of today's thoughts, let me suggest part of your personal battle plan might be to stake and pray around the houses of all your children and their children and their spouses and pray against divorce. You can visit active-faith.org and donate to our ministry if you like. See you next time on Battle Plan. We're going to cover three-day migraines. Do not miss this episode, three-day migraines. And keep praying because prayer works. God loves you, and I love you. Have a great day.